Chào bạn. Hi and welcome back to Tasty Khmer Viet Kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make a delicious bánh xôi nước or glutinous rice ball or nung bánh xôi nước. Uh, this dessert is made from soft, chewy, glutinous rice dough with a sweet mung bean filling dazzle with two types of syrup coconut and sugar syrup so you can also top it up with rose sesame and peanut uh, to add the crunch and flavor it's perfect dessert to enjoy with your family and friends or you can even make it to bring to a uh, gathering so let's get started the first thing we're gonna do is start making the uh, sugar syrup so we're adding water to the pot sugar ginger so i'm adding two of the palm sugar total up about a uh, hundred grain of palm sugar so our uh, palm sugar has melted our uh, sugar syrup is ready and so we're gonna prep the next item. I'm gonna turn off the fire and we're gonna prep the next item, which is the uh, coconut cream. So in a large pan, I added water and then I'm gonna add mung bean and uh, salt. I'm gonna let it cook for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, our mung bean is now cooked. Uh, it looks a little bit dry, but no worries. We're going to pour this into a bowl and we're going to add our coconut cream and uh, a little bit of sugar and then we're going to mash it up and then make our uh, mung bean uh, ball fillings. Coconut. We're going to add uh, sugar. Gonna mix it. We wanted the filling to be a little bit coconutty, and I mean, this process everyone does it a little bit differently. You can some recipe. Uh, some people might even want to add scallions in here to make it more. Uh, salty and uh almost savory but it's not but it's it's more on the salty and scallion side uh, but for today we're not using scallion we're just doing more creamy coconutty type of filling so uh just roll the uh, filling uh, like this or smaller bigger it's your choice so we are using one whole bag of glutinous rice flour, which is about 16 ounces. And I am adding two tablespoons of the regular rice flour into the mixture. Hot water. Regular water. Coconut. Mix it well and uh, it will form into a dough and we'll set it aside. A bit of oil into dough so it's easier for us to mix. So for our dough, if you prepare your dough before your filling and all that's completed, uh, make sure you cover it with saran wrap because you don't want it to the, the outside to be dry out. So I picked the size dough that I wanted and then I'm flatting it. And then I put my filling in, close it up. And then if you want to flatten your uh, bánh chinook balls a little bit, you can. Or just press it down or if you like it round and you mold it to be more like a ball say repeat the process until it's completed okay so i am uh rolling basically i just put one ball like this and then just round it just plain mochi ball you can make it small or big it's really up to you and then normally normally i do it and drop it right into the hot water but uh, I just want to show you, it's easier to show you right here. So basically I put one and then just roll it, roll it, and drop it down. Okay, uh, I just boil plain water. I'm going to toss in our, make sure it boils before you toss it in. And then once it floats, it's cooked. Just make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. Then I'm going to toss in those little balls that we did too. 
when it floats, we know that it's cooked. Just make sure you uh, stir it so the bottom doesn't stick. So you can see that our uh, uh, bunch nook is cooked because it's uh, it floated. So I'm gonna scoop it up. So our mochi uh, sweet coconutty mung bean uh, ball is done, and I put it back into the ginger sugar syrup that we uh, completed earlier, and I let it uh, turn on the fire for another minute or so, and then I turn off the fire, and we're gonna set aside and prep our coconut. So uh, er, uh, the remaining coconut cream that we use, we're gonna use it all as our, uh, co uh, we're gonna make coconut cream topping. Uh, work this on low fire, I, so I'm turning it on low fire right now. Salt, sugar. Okay, our uh, coconut is starting to boil. So I am adding uh, cornstarch with water that I mix. In here, and you can see that it's starting to thicken it already. Okay, that's the consistency we want. We're gonna turn it off. Turning it off. So our mochi uh, mung bean ball is completed. Now we're gonna assemble a bowl. Uh, we're adding the uh, sugar syrup with uh, mochi mung bean uh, and the mochi balls into the bowl. And then we're gonna add the coconut uh, syrup on top. And then uh, if this is when you sprinkle uh, the sesame seed or your uh, peanut um, topping uh, of your choice to make to add it the uh, crunchy uh, taste to it, it's up to you. And we are completed. So our banchinook is done. Uh, I'm gonna give it a try to see how uh, you know how it comes out to be. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. Perfect. Not too sweet. Balanced with the salt and um, coconut and sweet flavor. Soft and chewy texture and sweet mung bean filling. This dessert is sure to be a crowd pleaser. So don't forget to uh, drizzle the delicious coconut and sugar syrup with a sprinkle of sesame and peanut on it to add the crunchiness finish. If you want to recreate this dish at home, I have included the full recipe link uh, below. Thank you for watching and I hope you have fun making your own bun chinook uh, at home. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our Tasty Khmer Viet Kitchen for more amazing recipe. Until next time, happy cooking!